no, 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 kill her, no, no. Zelda is your shoulder is my dots. Uh, remember, I have pink hair. One. Oh wow, this is pathetic. It's Nintendo Wii S100 here with Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we s captured. The we caught the Reggies. Jeez. Anyway, speaking of the Reggies, had time to show you my newly updated Regice. There it is with its new nickname Freezer, as well as its new move set, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Explosion, and Toxic. I completely redid its um. Move set, and yes, I'm aware it's the same move set as the Reggie I used by Slowflake and his LP. I don't care. It's it's a very good move set for it, considering um, Toxic is very good on any stallers and everything. And also, speaking of explosion, yes, I did use that move too during Pacific Logtown. Um, somebody corrected me. It's the game doesn't qualify explosion as having double the amount of attack that it said. Well, power it said. What it does is apparently it only uses the, the opponent's Pokemon's. It only uses half of their defense, which is kind of the same thing. But anyway, that doesn't matter right now. If you're wondering what we're doing back here outside the entrance of Shoal Cave, north of Moss Deep, well, if you remember last time it was high tide, and now, as you can see, it's low tide. Um, which means, as, if you remember, when it was high tide, we could um, collect s soul... Shoal... Shells? I always have so much trouble saying that. Um, but now that it's low tide, we can get salts. Um, now, if you remember, there's that guy standing up there. If you get him four of each of those items, he will make a shell bell for you. And you can always keep coming back and get more and more of the items. And he can make pretty much... Well, yeah, he can make infinite um, shell balls for you, which is pretty convenient, um, to say the least. I do not believe there's anything in that entrance right down there. And yes, random encounter. I really don't care. Um, something I want you guys to tell me. Do you think I should cut out the random encounters like this? or leave them in. I mean, if I leave them in, it does extend the video, but it is kind of annoying for me to have to go back in later in editing to take them all out. Plus, it's really annoying because, like, they'll t like ra random encounters tend to cut me off, like, mid-sentence. Like, right here, that would have cut me off mid-sentence, and it really can get annoying sometimes just having to stop talking and then, like, try and remember where I left off, which I know you might think, well, I was like, well, it it's not like you were talking that long ago. If you're talking and you're having and you want to keep talking and then you get a random encounter and you stop talking, by the time the battle battles take forever. It's you you wouldn't ex, you would you don't think you don't think they take that long when you're just normally playing and just not talking. But when you're having to commentate, it really does take it really they really do last a little while. Anyway, we got an ice heal right here, and as you can see right here, this is a this is after the random encounter, as you saw right there, that little mound right there. That was an example of Shoal Salt, um, which I guess it basically, I guess the way that it would make sense for that is um, when the tide goes out, some of the salt, get, salt gets left behind, and there you go. Um, but anyway, something I wanted to mention, sorry, I didn't really mention this last time I was in the um, Shoal Cave, because I kind of went through it pretty quickly. Um, basically, uh, well, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, um, I think it's kind of funny. You. Like with Sfeel, obviously you're gonna um, in this area. This is like I think the only area in the game where you can get them, but they're also extremely common, um, as you can see right here. Um, I think I mentioned this before. I did use Sfeel in a former playthrough. I think it was actually my first ever playthrough of Emerald. Um, it's not bad, but it's not good, to say the least, in my opinion. In, it just even it's. Judging by its final evolution, Wall Rain, which it evolves relatively late. I think it's level. It evolves into Celio at level 32, and then Wall Rain at level 44. That can be kind of late in the game. So if you're not very patient, I really would not suggest this Pokemon to you. Um, I know I'm suggest I'm talking about being patient with Pokemon, yet I I have a freaking Milotic in my party. Um, but anyway. I mean, with it, with its fi final evolution, Wall Rain, it's not bad. I mean, for a Water Ice type, it's it's no Lapras, but it's still not bad. Um, uh, it it definitely did get better in Generation Four when uh, Wall Rain got the ability Ice Body, which allowed it to heal some HP back during Hail, um, creating the Stall Rain technique. Um, 
So, it's not bad. It's, you can also use the strategy of, like, use Super Fang and then use Brine. I mean, that's always a strategy you can use with it. I mean, just, I, that's more competitive play, and like I've said before, I am not a competitive player. That's duplicity. Um, he could probably tell you a little bit more about that. But anyway, as we got, as we encountered what seems to be the 100th feel in this place, um, something I should have, wait, something I actually should have mentioned earlier in this video, the, uh, Shell Bell, which is the prize you can get, well, prize or either, whatever you want to call it, um, that you can get for getting all those items for the guy in the front of the cave. What the Shell Bell does is it's kind of like a leftovers, except in order for it to heal you, you have to do damage to your opponent. Not a big deal. And there's nothing down there, it really is kind of stupid. Um, so let's head down here, and what do you have to say, mister? And screw your random encounter. Maybe he 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 set, he set something up with that feel. He like he stepped out of the way so it could like like jump like do like a jump. St wait, wait, can you imagine a feel doing like a jump strike? I can imagine it rolling at me. Which actually, wait a minute, does this does feel learn roll out? I don't remember. Like I said, I mean I, I I used it before, but I don't really remember. Anyway, um, let's see. What do you have to say, Mister? The penetrating cold around these parts is impe impediment. Sorry, burp there. Um, to training. Yeah, I burped to training. But with focus, one can overcome. With this focus band, buckle down and withstand the cold. To oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, what are we gonna get rid of? Let's see. Um, not gonna use that. Not gonna use that. Uh, let's use this on Kyrogen. Or, or not. Um,. Let's see. We could use that on Super Scrum? No. Okay. Um. Let's see. Oops. That that could work well on Freezer. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Tossing that. That's not even worth the money. Um. Let's see. Speed. Eh, screw it. I'll put it on Freezer. Don't really care. Um, special attack, yeah, that could work well on Freezer 2, because it's got only special moves, really. Um, yeah, da, 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 da. Anything else particular? How about we actually just give this to um, Freezer, just for now, um, just as a, as a placeholder, I guess. Now we can get this guy's item. Okay, you don't need to say everything again, just give me the Focus Band. Um, Focus Band! Uh, there's another item with a similar name, so let me just check it. I don't remember which one is which. Um, it says it, prevent, it occasionally prevents fainting. Both that and the Focus Sash work very similarly. One of them, I know it, um, the way they work is that they will leave you hanging on with one HP when you're supposed to take a mortal blow. One of them only works when you, um... When it when you take the hit at full health, like if it was going to be a one-hit KO, um, it would you would hold on with it one HP. There's the, then the other one works when you're at any HP. I don't know which one is which, but whatever. It kind of works like the move Endure, but um, it's an, it's in the form of an item, which makes it I guess a little more convenient. Anyway, let's push this over to the side here and let's go and check out down here. And this is um, one of the main interests of the Shoal Cave when it's low tide. This is the ice room. Um, something that's interesting about this is, well, I wouldn't exactly call ice puzzles interesting, but, um, well, to explain ice puzzles, basically, you move in any direction and you just keep moving until you find solid, well, not ice, every, or whatever you want to say. Um, they're not extremely difficult. They will try and mislead you a little bit, kind of like what just happened right there. You just want to head up here. Um, some, I don't know if we're going to encounter one in here, but, um, one Pokemon that is very, it's a little, it's kind of rare down here, but it, you can find one, and it's, um, Snow Runt, which, if any of you, Snow Runt is always one of those Pokemon that sticks in my mind from the anime, because I remember, um, Ash's Snow Runt, which I think it eventually did evolve into Glalie. Glalie isn't a bad Pokemon, both of them are mono ice types, um, and, I mean, it's, okay. Um, base stat totals of 80 all the way across the board, so it's nothing spectacular. At the same time, it's not anything extremely terrible, but uh, take your pick. I mean, I don't know which one I would suggest more, Wall Rain or 
suggest Glalie. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't think I would suggest either of them. I would say, like, well, that's probably just considering I have... I already have a good water type, and I also have a very good ice type with me, so... Yeah, um... But if you don't want to go through all the painstaking work of getting my low tick or um, anything, or getting... or bothering to use repair, if you're one of those players who doesn't like using, um... Uh, legendaries in a playthrough, one of these guys might work. But, um, as you saw, we got a Never Melt Ice, which basically raises the power of ice moves. Hmm, I wonder what, who's got that going. Hmm, wait, no. I wonder who that's going on. Let's just switch off the Quick Claw. Does not like it had it for that long anyway. It was just there as a placeholder. Anyway, let it, let's head up here. And not too much more. There's, I think, only maybe one more item. And I think it's a TM. So let's... No, wait. I did not want to do that. No. Go back up. Now back over. Jeez, I do not like active puzzles. Anyway, let's, um... Yes, I have to think about these for a second. Alright, let's try this. Um... I think I did something wrong. Oh, wait, no. No, I didn't. I did it right. Yay. And you get TM-07, which is hail, which... Basically, um... It's kind of like Sandstorm. It'll... If it does damage to... Um, any Pokemon that is not an Ice-type while Hail is in effect, and, um, of course the Pokemon has the ability Ice Body, well, it heals them, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, Hail is okay. Um, I'm giving my opinions on a lot of stuff in this video, but, um, I mean, yeah, Ice, well, okay, Hail, it's not bad, it's, um, it's not the most common, like, weather that you'll see. I mean, probably the most common is definitely, maybe, probably Sandstorm or with Generation 5 in the Dream World. Definitely, um, probably, uh, sun and rain. But, anyway, let's just keep moving. Um, like I said, Ice Pokemon in general, they're not bad. It depends on the Pokemon and everything, like, Sfeel and Gla well, Sfeel and Snow Run and their evolutions, they're shabby at best. I mean, they can they can be used well, and they, they can at the same time be completely terrible, but really any Pokemon can... All Pokemon have some kind of potential sometimes. <laughs> uh, I'm so... Um, because I, I, it sounds like um a little bit of like a... Like a it's, this really does sound like a Pokemon joke, but it's like... Well, because it is. Um, like, every Magikarp can one day become a Gyarados. Unless you're Love Disc. Um... Or, unless you're not a Magikarp. Or else then you will you might not evolve into anything. Yeah. Anyway, we got another salt down here. I'm not gonna even bother saying shul shul. I always say shul shul. It's really annoying. I really... Say that... Okay, I dare you, any of you, to say that five times fast. And writing it in the comments does not count. Um... But anyway, let's just slash this thing. Um... It must look kind of weird. Okay, think about this scene for a second. A giant kung fu action flaming chicken slashing to death a tiny bat. Very interesting scene, I must say. Um, and now a giant kung fu action flaming chicken fighting a baby seal. <laughs> this is so messed up. Oh my god, I'm not okay. I'm not even gonna make the baby seal joke. Oh my gosh, why did I? I'm surprised I didn't think of that sooner. Hmm. What's wrong with me? Well, what's wrong with me for thinking of the baby still joke anyway? Jeez, what's wrong with me? Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I missed in this, uh, in this area? I think that's pretty much it for this area after this. Um, yeah, I think there's only one more little area I need to check out, and then we can probably get out of here. Um, let's see. I think this is... Stop with the random encounters! They're getting really annoying! Which is kind of a reason I guess I could cut them out, but... Eh, I'll think about it. Like I said, leave in the comments and yeah, you you deserve a flamethrower for that. How dare you interrupt me. Um, yeah, Kung Fu Action Flaming Chicken. Burning a bat to death. Or, I'm sorry, to unconsciousness. And, geez! I came around the corner and I've already encountered three Pokemon. I just want this salt! What's wrong with you guys? Do you guys... How valuable is this salt? Seriously. Okay, slash. And now you die. Oh, excuse me. Faint. But anyway... Oh god. 
Any I'm not I'm not even gonna be able to stop saying anyway, I know it. Um, let's see. Let's just check in the bag. I wanna see how many of these things I have. Um Okay, I got four of those. Um Really wish I could get a shell bell, but I don't know why I didn't get three sh set well shells. I was in here last. I, I saw the area that I missed, but um let's see, wait, do I have oh, wait, I have a Pokemon that has dig now. Huh. Maybe teaching Kyle can dig wasn't such a bad idea. And yes, I wanted to return to Route 125. Just out of curiosity, I'm wondering if I've been in here long enough to uh, uh, go back to high tide. Kind of funny. Oh, nope, I didn't. But anyway, um, I think that'll actually be it for this video. Um, I got to think. I have. I'm not. I haven't exactly planned out what's going to be my next moves in the next couple of videos. So, yeah. Um, part 46 was a, sh was a relatively shorter video. I Episode 47 was a sh little bit longer, so I guess this one will be a little bit shorter. I guess it's on and off, so see you guys in the next episode. Bye.